Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about different types of magnesium and what is the best type of magnesium supplement to take. So there are a number of different types of magnesium. I'm gonna break it all down for you today. If you're new here, welcome, and be sure that you're subscribed. Turn on those notifications by clicking that bell, and stay tuned right until the end of the video because quite likely you're gonna learn something new today. So the first type that I'll talk about is magnesium malate and this is used to make energy in the body it's utilized by the mitochondria to make ATP and this is important for energy levels so this type of magnesium can be very helpful for fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue patients can also help with detoxification of heavy metals but the drawback of the malate is that it can be quite stimulating so this is one that you wouldn't necessarily want to take at nighttime Another type of magnesium is magnesium citrate. So this one's very commonly used and it can be a little bit sour in the taste. Often this is something that you're going to mix into water. So some people find that the taste of it is a bit of an obstacle to be able to take it, but it can really help with constipation. So it, what it does is it helps to draw water into the bowels and helps to lubricate the stool. And that can be very helpful for those that are very constipated. Another type of magnesium is magnesium threonate and this one is really you know not the best absorbed. One of the advantages uh, of this type is that it does cross the blood-brain barrier so it can really help with memory, help with moods and that's important because we have to ensure that we have enough magnesium in the body to do that but unfortunately in this supplement we need to take really high amounts of it so around 2,000 milligrams a day because it does have such a low bioavailability or absorption to be able to get it to where it needs to go. Now, my favorite type is magnesium bisglycinate. And in this type, you only need to take about 950 milligrams. And this is important in terms of being able to calm the nervous system Magnesium bisglycinate also helps with sleep, it helps with PMS symptoms, it helps with cramping. So this is important in terms of muscle cramps, but also with menstrual cramps for, for girls and for, for young women, which is great, as well as breast pain. So, you know, women who have breast pain, often this is a magnesium deficiency. And a lot of cravings as well can be cured, especially for chocolate, when you're taking magnesium bisglycinate. So I really like that type and it's really well and readily absorbed. So that's really important as well. Another type of magnesium is magnesium taurate. And this one helps to decrease cortisol levels. The bioavailability isn't the best, can help with cataracts as well. And you need about 500 milligrams of taurate. And another type of magnesium, and this is the one to watch out for amongst another one, which I'm going to get to in a second, which isn't really a supplement, but I'll talk about that. But magnesium oxide. So this one has a bad track record and it is only about 4% in terms of bioavailability and can actually cause symptoms such as joint pain. And this one also can pull the calcium out of your bones and can decrease your bone density. So not what you want exactly the opposite of you want from taking a good quality magnesium that should help and that's why I love the bisglycinate because it helps with making sure that your calcium is properly absorbed into the bones when taken at the right time and I have other videos on that so be sure to check those out and the magnesium oxide is also a very strong laxative so by taking too much of it this can have a negative impact in terms of frequent bowel movements now another thing to look out for on all of your vitamin labels is magnesium stearate. Now magnesium stearate is a flow agent. So this is something that in the industry the vitamin companies will use because what it does is it allows for those raw materials, the vitamins and minerals to be very slippery and flow off of the machinery and into capsules or tablets very easily. Now the reason you want to watch out for magnesium stearate and not ever take this in my opinion is because it's never been tested to be 
used for long-term human consumption as well, that it can decrease the absorption of whatever it's going on top of. And if you look at the material data safety sheet for magnesium stearate, you will see that just in order to handle it, not even ingesting it, just to handle it, you need to be fully clothed and prepared with, you know, basically uh, your coat, your gloves, your mask, and your goggles just to handle it. So imagine you're ingesting small amounts of magnesium stearate, and it is in most pharmaceuticals. It's also in most vitamins and minerals and supplements on the market. So please watch out for that one. It's something that you really shouldn't take. So I hope that you did learn something new and please give me a big thumbs up on this video. Be sure to share it as well with your friends. If you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed and you get your notifications by clicking that bell. And remember to always take care of your good health and do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today.